On RuPaul's secret celebrity drag race, contestants leave their famous identities behind and fully embrace the miracle of drag. And while celebrity interior designer Tom Felicia may not take the stage, it's clear that Jackie would. Take a look. The time has come for you to reveal yourself. RuPaul, uh, you can call me Jackie Wood, or you can call me Tom Felicia. You're one of my favorite men in the entire world, and now you're one of my favorite women, too. And Tom is with us right now. Thank you for joining us. I'm so happy to be here now, as Tom. Yeah, it's good to see you as Tom, although we love you as Jackie Wood. Was there any hesitation when you were approached to do this? Were you like all um, in? Were you yes, not there sure? was. There was a, I mean, just for a minute, but you know, I was, you know, when in 2003 when we were asked to do Queer Eye, there was this moment of like, you know, what you know how is this going to affect my life and me, me is this crazy what am i doing i have not been asked to do something that outside of the box since 2003. so it was one of those moments where i was like you know to be able to do something where you step in somebody else's shoes you kind of can make a difference you can be part of this sort of interesting momentum and it was it was such a real it was such an amazing and empowering experience. It was a lot of fun. So you had a it. fairy drag mother, you yes. had a choreographer. What was yes. the training like? Oh my God. Well, first of all, yes, uh, Jujube was my, uh, my, my drag mother, my godmother. She was amazing, very, uh, first of all, she's not a great dancer, nor am I, so that was great. <laughs> um, she was amazing. She's such a, a great performer and really kind of guided me through it. Jamal, not only is he absolutely breathtakingly beautiful, but he and his team are amazing and they sort of got my sort of sort of broke to do some cool things. <laughs> Oh, you did great. And Carson Cressley, your yes. queer eye co star, yes. was a judge on the show. Was yes. it hard to hide your identity from him? Did you try well, to? Yeah. So, you know, when, when I was backstage the first episode and I was about to go out, you know, I'm thinking about chore a choreography. I'm thinking about, like, not falling off the stage, killing myself. I'm also <laughs> thinking about, like, RuPaul's judging me, like, all of these things. And then uh, they're like, as I'm about to go out, they're like, oh, and by the way, uh, try not to speak a lot or change your voice or something so that Carson doesn't know who you are. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> Which he so, said the voice. Yeah, 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 him. yeah. So it was. But I, you know, I, the first one I didn't, re I was trying to be sort of quiet because I didn't know how to, you know, I was trying to keep, keep my identity a little bit. Well, on the deal. Tell us about <laughs> Jackie Wood. What yes. inspired her? So, I mean, you know, there was all these things about, like, was it Jackie Onassis? Was it, you know, like, Amy Schumer or whoever, <laughs> Jane Fonda? And I was like, you know, she was more about, I think ja Jackie Wood's, like, middle class and a lot of brass. She's a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> she was, I said, we had to come up with a persona of her. And I came up with the name. And then I was like, okay, Jackie Wood's from, like, a suburb of Chicago. She would go into town when she was younger with her friends and, like, steal her parents' car and, like, go get drunk. And then now, she, she, she moved to Aspen. They said, why did she live in Aspen? I said, well, she went through with her girlfriends and on the plane she was a little bit, she got a little out of control. She was a little overserved, and um, she was never allowed to domestically fly again, so she took up residency in Aspen. I mean, that is quite a story, Tom. Quite a story. Will we see any more of Jackie Wood in the future? Um, I, well, I have to say, well, you know what? Jackie Wood, so, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, you're an interior designer, obviously. Yeah. What would Jackie Wood's home look like? Um, you know, I think Jackie Wood's home would, uh, let me see. Okay, I would say, like, first of all, the bar would be very prominent. Um, <laughs> the sofas would be very deep, a.k.a. party barges. And um, the cocktail tables would be big enough for four people to dance on them at any time. <laughs> I love that. I love that. That's genius. Now, Labor Day is this weekend. Do you have any interior design tips for everyone? Is the um, routine sort of get back and well, flowing? Well, you know, I would say, I mean, as routines are getting back, here we are about to go into sort of the, the last hurrah for the summer, which I'm very excited about. I wish everybody a fabulous mm. holiday. But um, I would say, you know, getting back into the swing of things, our homes have become everything to us. We work more there. We play more there we, we we learn more there we're just doing everything we're entertaining all the time so I would say when you're getting back into the swing and things it's about being organized it's not just about your house looking beautiful it's about it feeling good and having it organized is really important so employ beautiful boxes and trays and things that can keep you your family your kids your husband your wife your boyfriend your girlfriend everybody organized Amazing. so you can sit back
back and as Jackie would say, have a cocktail. I love it. Great <laughs> tips. Thank you, Tom. RuPaul's Secret Celebrity Drag Race airs Fridays at 8 p.m. on VH1. And for all of Tom's latest, visit TomFelicia.com. Tom, thank you so much. For thank you. Today.